Well, this week we're we'll doing um, hydroponic plants where we're gonna we're gonna be growing plants on different conditions on our uh, agar based culture. So today we're gonna make agar for the hydroponic plants. Here we made a sample last night. It's gonna be looking like this. So a gel media with beans in it to grow. I don't remember if you said 13.8 or 22.8. 13.8. Is it 23? Yeah. That's 23? Yeah. What we did yesterday night, okay? So what we did was we're going to be using this. And we're going to be making a gar using agarose, which is a type of agar which doesn't, which doesn't have anything in there, but it compounds to make it solid. So what you do is you get 10 ml of agar and you put your uh, bean sample in there and watch it grow and then when it's just sprouting you will be able to start your test on it. The making of agar is really simple. You just get so the prescribed agar ratio is 23 grams for one year. Today we had 600 grams. So we're gonna put 13.8 grams of agar and then what's the other <gasps> I don't think that that's not me wow. either. Cotton candy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. So, hello. Bring the sand so, up. Regarding the test about the plants, everything died except one. Oh dear. So, theoretically, our procedures are right, but I think the problem was that we haven't pre grown the beans. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pre grow the beans and do this thing again. So, except for one. Hmm? Oh. Yeah. We got through with the test tubes too? Oh, I guess we can't use them again, I guess. Oh. Mm. So, yeah. Oh, there so, for now minute. we're doing crystallization where we're trying to sh get these different types of crystals and different variations of monocrystals, dicrystals, polycrystals, and everything. So we're redoing the process of the plants. For YouTubing! So here, well we, we, what we have, finger on the beans this time. And then we're doing the agar thing. We're super cooling it right now to save time. And then we're gonna be transferring this in there. And simultaneously, the other group is doing crystals with, what was this? Dye. What was this? Huh? What was this called? This is potassium dichromate. Yeah, potassium dichromate, and we're doing with um, ADP and yeah. Hello. So like, like and subscribe to this video. <laughs> yeah, Leave a comment in the watch it. <laughs> Leave and a comment. Just take a photo of that. It's like the annotation for more videos that I've done. So we have been doing a different version of crystals where. For some reason, um, aluminum foils, when suspended under uh, sat saturated solution, kind of makes this kind of structure. Right? Mm -hmm. What are you filming, Yuji? Um, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's Mr. Hibbetson. I come to school and drink coffee. <laughs> and they pay me for that. <laughs> Yay! The best job! <laughs> the best job! <laughs> well, gotta do some teaching now, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you doing, Jim? Uh, they were setting up their labs in different colors. Oh, could you explain why plants don't grow under green lights? Well, 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 well you, you, you're growing plants under different lights and see what happens to them. Oh. <laughs> Is that what you do? Yeah. Uh, they're doing No, I'm right. not Who's there? Alright. Is this not a layout? It is. Uh, why don't plants grow in green light? That's a great question. Why colour are plants? What colour are plants? Green. green. <laughs> right. 
Why is anything the color that it is? Cause, oh, because they reflect like, green reflect, light. Exactly. Ooh. So if you are <laughs> physics bathing Yay. a plant in green light, it's going to be reflecting oh. a majority of that light energy. Therefore, it's going to be photosynthesizing at a lower rate than under a different light wavelength. Boom, science. <laughs>